Mistake number one. Position over left. So you can see these two people when they play doubles, they their position will overlap. That your opponent will have more empty spots they can hit. Let's say for example they can hit like here, here, or that's all empty. Give you an example. What if you can that your position to cover each other and not overlap? That will look like this. If your partner stand at the front, at here, then when you stand at back, you will move a little bit one step beside to here. So, which is you can help you your partner to cover the other side. So once your opponent hit to the other side, and then you can cover it. Mistake number two: never follow up your shots. If you do the defense. And then you hit to the one empty spot. Purpose of this shot is because you want to turn your defensive to offensive. If you don't follow up, then both of you guys, you and your partner, will still in defense position. If you hit to the empty spot and then you do the follow up step, go toward to here. That's where you're supposed to be. If you stand at here after you hit the shot, then your opponent hit the next shot here, then both of you guys will still keep lifting. But if you hit your empty spot here, and then you follow up to here, your opponent hit the next shot here, then you'll have more chance to return and hit the shot at the top of the net and return back to cross net or do more aggressive shot as you in different situation. So that's why when you do the doubles, make sure every time you hit it, you need to follow up what kind of shot you hit it. Mistake number three, the rhythm is not follow with your partner. Let's imagine you guys in defense and then your opponents do attack. And right now, right now your, your partner, uh, your opponents hit the smash shot to your partner. And then your partner return a dry shot, opponent return again and keep hitting to your partner. What do you, many people they stand up here, what they doing is they watch, kind of watch TV, they watch their rallies, but instead of follow their partner's rhythm. So what will happen is like this. If your opponent suddenly hit to you, then the shots will make mistakes usually. Make sure if your opponent return your opponent's shots, you always follow the rally's rhythm. Mistake number four is the racket preparation. Most of recreational players, after they serve, their racket usually go down and their weights crush down like this. First, if you rack it up, it's when you and your partner, your position is in attacking position, which is you hit aggressive shots. And second, it's a middle racket position. In this, it's more intermediate or advanced when you guys do the flag games, which is do a lot of drive shots. You can see most of the athlete, when they do the double skins, they a lot of drive shots and the racket, they not just only rack it up, sometimes they will keep the rackets in the middle, right? And then the last one is to rack it down. Rack it down, that means when you defense position because some people or some opponents, when they hit, the angle is get more deeper. So if you, you find that your opponents that smash is more deeper, then you can keep your weight a little bit lower and then your racket head, remember what I say, it's a racket head, can go down a little bit. But make sure when you defense, your weight needs to be lower instead of you stand very high. The last one, mistake number five, play doubles like singles. What do I mean by this? In doubles, there's two people on the courts, but as I taught 
a lot of students they do have these problems, especially when they attack. When they attack, I give you an example. If you stand at the back, then you keep smashing, but you find that your partner at the front cannot help you to cover the shot. What's your first thoughts in your mind? Is your partner too slow or is your partner not get ready? So if you play doubles like singles, you might have that kind of thoughts. But what if you change your mind like this? How can I smash and to let my partner help me to cover the shot at the front? That's a really important concept in doubles. So that means what I usually tell my students, you play doubles, it's always play for your partners, not only play for yourself. So your partners, can help you to cover all the shots that you hit. All right, so I would recommend this. When you partner with someone else, you need to discover two things. One is what is your partner's strength and what is their weakness. If you find, oh, my partner's strength at the front and it's a neck kill and maybe the stand at the forehand side is their strength. So. What you need to do is when you smash, you need to let your opponent return to the forehand side so your partner can help you to cover more forehand side and that's your partner's strength. But what if your partner's weakness is your backhand side? You need to avoid that. Try to design the shot and design a game that your opponent don't return to your partner's backhand side. In this case, then you are playing for your partner, you not play for yourself. In this case, you get the points more efficiently and you'll get less tired. So if you want more content for doubles concepts, leave in the comments so I know I can make more videos for this. Thank you for watching.